It's Entertainment Schmick. And it's brought to you by Plaza Motors. And today it's all about why Pink kicks some hardcore booty. Love this woman. I saw the pictures. Yeah. So Pink went to this cancer benefit. That is important. Cancer benefit on Saturday night. Wore this black low cut dress. She posted a couple pictures of it after the fact on Twitter. But after being snapped on the red carpet, much like what happened to Kelly Clarkson recently... Bunch of people trolling around online started talking about how Pink's gained weight. She doesn't look good. That dress looks terrible. She posted this response on Twitter. I can see that some of you are concerned about me from your comments about my weight. You're referring to the pictures of me from last night's cancer benefit that I attended to support my dear friend, Dr. Maggie Denome. She was given the Duke Award for her tireless efforts and stellar contributions to the eradication of cancer. But unfortunately, my weight seems much more important to some of you. While I admit that that dress didn't photograph as well as it did in my kitchen, I will also admit that I felt very pretty. In fact, I feel beautiful. So my good and concerned peoples, please don't worry about me. I'm not worried about me, and I'm not worried about you either. I am perfectly fine, perfectly happy, and my healthy, voluptuous, and crazy strong body is having some much-deserved time off. Thanks for your concern. Love cheesecake. She, <laughs> she actually is one of the most athletic performers. Oh, I mean, if you've yeah. ever seen a pink mm-hmm. concert, this woman is just, she is cut. She was one huge muscle while she was out on tour. So it's it stands to reason that you stop touring, you stop working out eight hours a day, you eat some cheesecake. Yeah, your body's not going to look the same. And she's enjoying time with her husband and her daughter. She put a picture up on Twitter of her standing next to her daughter, Willow, and she's just happy. And she's smarter than any of you trolls, so don't yep. go after her. I love the way she says, I'm not worried about you. Right. You know, like, don't, you know, what, what, what do you gain from all of that? So uh, did we put the picture up online? Because I, I want to say one thing yeah. about the, that photograph. It was taken kind of from above. The angle was kind of freaky. She's not real tall. Right. And so mm-hmm. uh, as it was taken from above, it kind of shows like more, it looks like more material. But she does not look fat. And even if she were fat, that's her business. Well, and it's, yeah, please. <laughs> so you can go see the picture and her response to all of the critics online at Y98.com. And the picture of her and Willow is just the cutest. Oh, and she also posted a picture at the event uh, sitting next to her husband, Carrie Hart, and uh, his comments to her about <laughs> how he likes it when she gains a little weight. A lot of big-name celebrities will be on The Late Show over the next month to say goodbye to David Letterman. It's fast approaching. His last day on The Late Show is Wednesday, May 20th. And so far, they've announced uh, Avengers stars. Robert Downey Jr. and Scarlett Johansson will be on. Paul Rudd, Oprah, George Clooney, Julia Roberts, John Travolta, Tom Hanks, Michael Keaton, Bruce Willis. And then a bunch of comedians, Tina Fey, Ray Romano, Jerry Seinfeld, Billy Crystal, Will Ferrell, Steve Martin, Martin Short, Don Rickles, Elvis Costello, Dave Matthews Band, and Mumford & Sons, just a few of the musical acts. And apparently the big stars have already started. C-3PO and R2-D2 with the top ten list last night. Uh, Number two. Letterman is really beginning to look like Master Yoda. (laughs) So what? He just turned 68, by the way. So happy birthday to Dave. Now on to Dennis Quaid. You know, I just loved him a little bit more. I don't know that I really thought one way or the other about Dennis Quaid. But a few years back, gosh, more than a few years, when he was on Ellen DeGeneres and she had the little um, thing planted in his ear and she fed lines to him while he was at a Starbucks was the best. Dennis Quaid would like a whatever foo-foo drink. No, it was hilarious. Well, now people are saying that this might be a prank kind of floated out on the internet via Jimmy Kimmel. Dennis Quaid cursing and yelling and freaking out on set. The, what the f- keep going? I am acting here and this f- head wanders onto my set. I can't even get a line out. Until don't be the d- starts whispering in your ear and you're not even watching anymore. Dennis, Dennis. Don't, don't f- Dennis me. I am doing my job here. I am a pro. This is the most unprofessional set I have ever been on. This is horse. Oh, it's, 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 it's so a fake, joke. Yeah. It's so it's bad. So fake. It's obvious. He's, he's <laughs> actually. Uh, I have less respect for him as an actor now. Really? <laughs> 
I, I really do because oh, it's not good acting. Oh, I, that, man. Mm-hmm. Liar, liar, yoga pants on fire. I mean, that thing smells of a Jimmy Kimmel oh, sure. stars. Yeah. Well, you know, I think he wanted to make it sound like, uh, uh, what's his name? Yeah. Christian Bale. Yeah, yes. Christian yeah. Bale, mm-hmm. right. right. And no, just, not even close. <laughs> too nice. It's not believable. Plus, he didn't have the accent. <laughs> <laughs> right. Avengers director Josh Whedon, not a fan of the new Jurassic Park movie. There's a clip that's been out with Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard where she's like this cold woman and he's like the laid back guy. Like, come on. Um, Apparently some fan site that a lot of women go to were loving Chris Pratt in this clip. And Josh said, I'm too busy wishing this clip wasn't 70s era sexist. She's a stiff. He's a life force. Really? Still? I don't know, calling out Jurassic Park. And on TV tonight, the top 10 are revealed on The Voice, the 11th season premiere of The Deadliest Catch, and the series finale of Justified. That's Entertainment Schmigmore at 840 and online at Y98.com.